What's up guys, it's Chili here, the developer behind the Auto 3D Shimeji's extension. So first thing you're going to want to do is download the extension. You can find us on the Chrome Web Store, just search up Auto 3D Shimeji's and you should be able to find us. Uh, where this one, get, go ahead and hit add to Chrome or install. Uh, I already added my version of course, so you're, you're going to see something very different here. Once it's installed, you should be able to access it on your uh, extension manager over here. And I recommend you pin this uh, because we're going to be accessing this menu quite often. Now in my case, I'm already logged in, but let me demonstrate what it looks like when you are logged out. Your, the first time going in here, you should see this login with Discord button. So you're going to want to hit this button, and it's going to take a brief moment to authenticate you. Just go ahead and authorize. And just like that, you're going to be logged in. You do need to make sure you have a Discord account uh, in order to use auto. So I highly recommend that. And you can feel free to join our Discord group as well. I think doing this will also add you to our Discord group. Feel free to leave any comments there. If you run into any issues, let me know. I am on there every single day, so I can help you guys out. Uh, and uh, yeah, right here, I'm in the alpha program. Uh, if you want to get access to some of the alpha features, just shoot me a DM over on Discord uh, and I'll be able to add you really easily. Um, otherwise, you might not have access to some of the features I'm going to be showing here. Uh, now, let's go ahead and download our character. So hit this browse button right here and this will load up a bunch of different uh, uh, this the character library. I actually already have one open, so I'm going to close this one. And you can see here there are a bunch of characters that people have uploaded or I've uploaded myself. Uh, not every character is uh, uh, super highly polished so you might have to play around with like which characters work, which characters don't. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this auto one right here to, to de just to demonstrate you. Click on it and you'll see copy to, copy to clipboard. So you just want this code right here, this W2UO. We're going to go ahead and enter that code in the extension manager. And just like that, we've already downloaded the uh, character. And now I can hit summon auto for the character to appear on my screen. And just like that, they're running across the screen. Hey, back from the dark side? And they give me a little comment just like that. So uh, that's how we summon our first character. Let's go ahead and summon Miku. We can actually do this on any web page. So I'll go on to Reddit, for instance, and refresh this page. And we'll try summoning her. By the way, if you ever run into any issues, if uh, the load hangs, for instance, or something doesn't seem right, uh, just hit the refresh button and you should be able to see your character. Back already. What'd you miss, Grandpa? I guess this character thinks I'm really old. Um, so yeah, now we can have the character here and you can see that she actually f looks around and follows me as my mouse is moving around. She can also uh, WASD, so you, you can use WASD to control her. She can walk around with the DOM and just like interact with the different web pages. Um, and she can also move down as well. Uh, if you ever get confused about what is a platform and what isn't, you can always go to settings and show, go to show collider. And you can see uh, exactly uh, what is a collider. You can see all the debug stuff that we're, do we're using as developers to try to figure this stuff out. Uh, next thing I want to show you guys is uh, if you ever get confused, like let's say the character model is too small or the character model is like flip the wrong direction, you can. there's this little edit button right here on the top right. You can hit that and you open up this model viewer right here. And if you go to group, you can see here we can set the uh, rotation, for instance. We can flip it around 180 degrees. We can change the scale. So let's say, for instance, I want to make her uh, even larger. We can set her to times three three and three and then just hit like save and upload this will upload it for everyone else who's using this character uh, so they can all get the fixes that you have and now if i summon it you'll see miku will be a lot bigger as a result boom just like that okay so now we have this character back at a friend ready to dive in i can of course also drag her around and and move her wherever i want to hey move careful with that the last thing i want to show you guys is uh actually a cool new experimental tool um so we are playing around with uh, AI companion chat. So on the top right corner here- Back already? Didn't I just see you? You can see this little like indicator right here. If I click on it, it opens up this menu here. I can also drag it around so it's not too in the way. And this is actually a chat history with the character. Uh, so you can interact with it and say whatever you want. Hi, tell the audience about yourself, Otto. Oh, I spelled, I thought I spelled his name wrong. Hey, I'm Odo, nice to meet. I'm a browser buddy living inside your browser, here to help and have fun. Okay, awesome. That's a great introduction. Um, you can also, of course, use your uh, uh, mic as well to just chat with them. So let me just try that. Uh, you do have to give access to uh, uh, the page. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hey, Otto, uh, tell me about your favorite website. Go ahead and listen and expect. Let's see what they have to say. YouTube, I love it, watching vids all day, so much fun. 
Okay, awesome. So you can do all these things with auto and there's another cool thing is that auto can understand what you're reading. So for instance, if I just highlighted uh, this thing right here, I can actually ask auto about this. Uh, tell me what you think about her story. Press enter. Wow, her story is wild and really sad. I can imagine how tough it must have been for her to deal with all of that ridicule and family drama. It's amazing she's sharing it so openly, and I'm glad she had her grandma to care for her. Yep, so you can do this on any page. Uh, she, Otto should be able to understand whatever you highlight and uh, give you information about that. Um, and if you ever, if they're ever in the way. Ooh, careful dude, not rough. You can drag them over to the side. Um, all right, cool. That's all I want to show you guys uh, about auto right now. Feel free to try it out. Uh, let me know how it goes uh, and find me on Discord uh, to ask me any questions. All right, thanks very much, guys.